important but boring, boring subject, door panels. Uh, real quick, I wanted to mention to you guys, um, i got to take it back off again, which happens a lot. So you put them on, you take them back off, you put them on, take them back off. Now, if you notice, I spent the money for these little guys right here. They're really easy to put on. Only takes a second to put each one of them on. And a couple of them pop through. But if you ever have to take your door panel back off, these things are really helpful. Because if you put them on without them, the clips tend to get stuck on the door panel. And, uh, you know, they're only a few dollars, like seven bucks or something like that. So I would recommend buying them. Um, I've done them both ways without it. It's not scratched. It's just a little junk on there. I got to clean off. I still haven't got to the final cleaning on this car yet, but anyway, um, also your door panel clips, um, you want to spread those open a little bit uh, where, you, where you slide it on the wood because uh, it tears it up pretty badly if you don't. So spread them open a little bit, put the clips on, make sure the clips, if you, if they're, because you need them to, some of them you need them to go up onto this, this, uh, they call it beading, but it's actually called welt around the edge. That's the actual upholstery term, welt. You put it around the welt on the edge, but you call, everybody calls it, oh, piping. <laughs> it's not called piping, it's called welt. But anyway... Uh, it's, it bugs me every time I go to the shows where, oh, I got, you know, off-white piping. You know, it's like, no, it's actually welt, but I get it. Okay, cool. But anyway, uh, so, it, so on the early models, it has to go under the wall. On the late models, 68 and up, or 65 and up, they don't have this welt around the edge or piping. Um, I'll show you on this side. So it you don't have to spread them quite as wide as you do the early ones, but it does help a little bit just to spread them just a little bit so you don't tear up your wood. All right, and definitely buy these things because it it just makes it a lot easier. You're gonna take you're gonna put the door panel on, you're gonna take it back off every time, almost every job you're gonna do it because what's gonna happen is your window's gonna bind up because you got to baby powder all this stuff up. And then sometimes it doesn't work right when it's brand new rubber um, and brand new felt and all that stuff. It's not very cooperative. So you'll end up having to take it off for some reason. My reason is because the door latch I got was no good. So I got to redo the door latch of the door latch. And those things, if you've ever taken them off, these door latches are a giant pain in the ass to get off right here. Um, so what you actually have to do, and I'll go over that real quick, is, uh, you have to take out this bar, uh, if you can get a light on here, that helps, uh, yeah, you can see it now a little bit, um, right here, you have to take this screw out and this whole bar that goes up, all the way up into the window channel has to come out in order for you to get that piece out of there and you wiggle it down get it down to right here and then take this part off right here these two off tip that up and then you can get to the snap ring that's on the side of it to get it out you know some guys try and fish up there and put that snap ring in or take it out oh, man that's a way hard way to do it it's much easier to take the thing out wiggle it down it's really hard to get down it barely fits in there so that's why you have to have this channel piece out um, to do it. So take it down, take the stupid thing off. Um, um, sometimes you have to take the glass out, which means you got to take the window regulator off. Um, in my case, the the uh, there's a little hook that goes up in there, and maybe my window won't work right because that's not perfect. And if it isn't perfect, usually something doesn't work right in the VW. So, um, I'll have to take, uh, you, you mind, I can just slide out once I take this bolt off. 
because the little clip on the top, way up on the top, way up here, is broken. So normally you would have to take the window out to do it. So um, don't be surprised if you have to do that, if you ever have to change that door latch. And these door latches are really tricky. Um, just to give you an idea, this thing has to go in. Okay, when it goes all the way shut, this thing's pushed in. And then what it does is it locks this thing from going up. Okay, the spring on it stops and it goes up. So if it's working right, you should be able to push it in and see that little hole. You should see a little thing popping up as you push it in. So there's nothing popping up. If there's nothing popping up, you probably have a problem with your latch and that's what's wrong with mine. So anyway, I've got to replace it. Now they have them at Wolfsburg West, $29. Um, I got a used one and that's what happened. Um, I was hoping to get a good used one, but I'm done playing around with used stuff on this part. I'm going to go ahead and just buy a new one and uh, do it again. And hopefully the new one's good. I've heard that they're pretty good from Wolfsburg West, but you really don't even know. I mean, some of the stuff that even they have isn't that great. I mean, most of it's good, but um, the only thing that's really good is original Volkswagen NOS. And uh, remember back in the old days, we used to go to the dealer and buy stuff. And now, uh-uh, can't do that anymore. We still go find stuff at the dealer. I don't know why this thing's not focusing. That's weird. Let's try that again. Anyway, uh, all right, I'll talk to you in the next video, and uh, good luck with your bug.